Hello. I will show you one person break bleeding method using dirt cheap power bleeding device you can build yourself. Take an extra cap for the brake fluid reservoir and a tire valve. Drill a hole in the cap and put the tire valve through it. Make sure it is a tight fit. Now you can put the cap on. We don't want to introduce any water or oil from the compressor, so use filtered dry air or a tire pump. The tire pump will build up pressure gradually and will not squeeze as much water from the air like a compressor. If you use dry air from the compressor, set the pressure at the compressor, otherwise the reservoir may pop up of the master cylinder. In my case I use 15 psi. I made this power bleeder, but I didn't fill it with brake fluid to bleed the brakes. I found it to be messy. You end up with brake fluid in the tubing and the reservoir is overfilled, so you have to recover some fluid from there. I prefer to push the fluid inside the reservoir with the compressed air. You can do the same thing with the simplified tire valve power bleeder. This way I avoid the mess and I don't waste any fluid. I fill the reservoir with fresh brake fluid. Screw the cap on and pressurize the system to 15 psi. Then I leave it for a few minutes to check if the pressure holds and no leaks are present. I bleed the brakes and before going to the next caliper I check the fluid level. Relieve the pressure and top off the fluid. Pressurize the system and bleed the next caliper. You can find more details about the brake job in my other videos.